You're watching Mobile World Live. Today I'm joined by two guests from GSMA and Mobilium, two companies who have been collaborating closely on a brand new international deterrent fraud solution to combat unwarranted nuisance calls. Now, the US regulator, the FCC, recently indicated that robocalling, as it is now known, well, it's reached a $10 billion a year problem, with perpetrators hitting the US coming largely from overseas. To discuss this issue, I have Carlos Bosch, Head of Technology at the GSMA with me, and we also have Bernardo Lucas. Bernardo is Chief Marketing Officer with Mobilium. Gentlemen, great to see you. Hi, Justin. Happy to be here. Hi, Justin. Thank you for having us. Carlos, if I can come to you first, um, you're actually based in the GSMA's US office. Set the scene a little bit for us. Um, what's driven the FCC to really take strong steps to combat this problem? Well, Justin, nuisance or scam call is not only a US problem, it's a worldwide one. Uh, besides financial, a company can suffer from great reputation problems if they're associated with a fraudulent call. Nobody wants this. Let's look at some stats. If we look at the U.S. last year, 2020, we had 41 billion fraudulent calls. That's an increase of 270% from 2019. 89% of U.S. seniors are receiving a scam call every week. Half of the U.S. population receive at least seven. I know I get at least 20. And 90% of scams from abroad are using U.S. numbers. Now, this started in 2018 when the U.S. Congress passed the Trace Act, including the identification of calls using what we call the steering checking protocol, which was a great action. And then after that, the FCC did a series of, of, of expansions trying to in, expand and enhance the act. When they did this, this September, all businesses that terminate calls in the U.S. are required to have some kind of mitigation program. That's very important. Also, the U.S. is looking for all voice service providers to cooperate in a global registration and traceback scheme to ensure that we know where the calls are coming from. Many are affected, fixed, mobile, voice operators, international carriers, wholesalers. Anyone that is working on this voice system is affected. Back to you. Yeah, thanks, Carlos. Um, clearly a big problem and, and good context there from you. Um, so what steps has the GSMA taken to really help the industry solve this problem? Yeah, we, we want to share our vision and we want to create what we call a industry reference system or platform to eliminate unwanted scam, not only national in the U.S., but international. We want to facilitate this community collaboration that is needed inside sharing and do some automated fraud investigation and detection. Uh, we look. Uh, to see who can help us realize this vision, who can really help us complement who the, who the GCMA is, it is today. And we know Mo Mobilium, and we, I'm very excited uh, we have moved forward in relatively short space of, of time to build this solution. And uh, we would like the industry to travel with us. Now, this is an international issue. This is not a national problem. And we need an international solution. We need everyone in the voice ecosystem to co to collaborate, cooperate, and be part of the same system. Yeah, let's bring in Bernardo from Mobilium. Bernardo, um, tell us a little bit more about the trial that Carlos just mentioned. I mean, what are the objectives? What does success look like? Yeah, so I think ultimately the great objective that we have with this is to start looking at real fraud incidents and to work with the community to understand how good we can get at mapping the root causes of these uh, fraud incidents, but also preventing them uh, in real time uh, and avoiding these nuisance calls. That is a big problem, as Carlos was mentioning before. Uh, so ultimately, we want the community to trial this, um, this, uh, this solution with us and to help us assess its effectiveness. So in the course of this trial, we'll be mostly uh, trialing five uh, services. The first one is a ticketing and case management module, which um, will, will put the community together and will help people uh, working together on a common fraud case. And this is, is pretty unique because it's something that today most fraud systems that work a bit in, in silos are not able to do. 
the second thing is a, a call path tracing. This is something that I believe the industry has uh, been uh, looking forward to develop uh, for many years, but it has never been able to do it. And, uh, and so what we want is ultimately to provide a system that is able to show uh, where are the calls or originating uh, when some of these calls are disguised. Um, the third module that we'll be trialing is a live threat monitoring uh, and alerting system. And this will provide a view into active fraud campaigns and to the things that we are seeing, seeing in the wider community uh, and providing alerts and, and the information to sort out these, uh, these cases when these active campaigns are, are identified. Then we also will provide a network identifier book, which is something quite important, a list of authenticated network identifiers for the people in the system to know what are the reliable sources of information. And uh, finally, we'll also provide uh, and test um, uh, a call verification service, which will help uh, verify calls and the provenance of calls in real time. Uh, so this is, is pretty ambitious. We, we are talking about five things that, uh, uh, that the, the community and the, the fraud community has been looking for for a long time, and uh, we, we are really looking forward to, to test it and to bring it to the market. Thank you, Bernardo. Um, Carlos, for anybody watching that wants to get more involved uh, with the trial, um, how can they do so? Well, our six-month trial starts ne next week during Mobile World Congress. We want as many actors in the voice community to be part of this. Uh, we want everybody that wants to reduce uh, interconnect and voice fraud to call us. You know, come join us. Uh, to get in touch, please uh, send an email to GSMA or go to gsma.com slash fraud services. We're bullish. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Bernardo. Uh, best of luck for the trial. It's obviously a very important issue and one that needs to be resolved. Uh, thank you very much for sharing those insights. Thank you. Thank you very much, Justin. A pleasure.